I just put the ship and get ready to see. I mean, who you been watching? I see you. 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 I see First John chapter 4 and 1, because a lot of brothers and sisters, they pretty much follow, they follow after their own list. When the Most High gave us the spirit of discernment. Read on. First John chapter 4, verse 1. Uh -huh. Read it out. Beloved, believe not every spirit, uh -huh. but try the spirit. So that's pretty much what you was doing. You was trying the spirit to see, okay, who's, okay, who's bringing the truth out? Who was teaching to keep the commandments? Because that's the same thing I had to do. I went through a few different camps until I found out, okay, these brothers here, they going to teach me to keep the laws. They, they all about the laws and making sure they people get into the kingdom of heaven. Read on. Whether they are of God, uh -huh. because many false prophets, many what? Many false prophets, many false prophets, false prophets, not, a, not also the other nations, but of our people. They go out, deceive our people with all these different doctrines. They know they're Israelites, but they follow in their lust. So now they got other people that are uh, following the same thing that they're following. Read. Are uh, gone out into the world. So they're going out to the world to deceive our people. So now all praise to that. So 2nd Edges 14 and 13. So after I, the, uh, after I found, okay, who teaching me to keep the laws? This is what I had to do after that. 2nd Edges chapter 14, verse 13. Uh -huh. Now therefore, set thine house in order. So I don't know if you're married or not. You married so your wife, uh, um, keep, your wife keep the commandments? She, she's, having, she's in the problem. Okay, so now you got to set your house in order. Now, yeah. I want you to, hey brothers, who out here married? Who all out here married? Because I know I am. You, you notice something? Look at these brothers' fingers. You see that? Now, get my other book out of them. I'm going to show you something. I'm, I'm going to give you the history on that thing. Leviticus 18 and verse 1. Hey, all, hey, all praises to also said, pick his mind. All praises to that thing. All praises to that. Leviticus 18, 18 verse 3. and verse 3. Right out. Right out. After the doings of the land of Egypt. So Moses said, after the doings of the land of Egypt, because we was in, this was us coming out of Egyptian captivity. So the most I told Moses to tell us, after the doings of the Egyptians, read, wherein ye dwelt, uh -huh. shall ye not. Do. Shall ye not do now? Let's see one of the customs that uh, we learned that the Grecians got from the Egyptians and the reason why we don't do it. Now this book right here is entitled Accessories of Dress. I want you to read the highlighted part. Okay, in fact, the use of the, of the ring of the what? Of the ring. So now we're about to go into the wedding rings and where that custom come from. And the reason why we don't do it, read. The use of the ring uh -huh. in, in marriage service began in Egypt. Began where? In Egypt. So now let's go back. Hold it. Let's go back to Leviticus chapter 18 and verse 3 right quick. Let's go back to Leviticus 18 and verse 3 right quick. Le Leviticus chapter 18 verse 3. Uh -huh. After the doings of the land of Egypt. Of oh, the land of what? The land of Egypt, uh -huh. wherein ye dwelt, shall ye not do. Shall ye what, bro? Shall ye not do. Shall ye not do. So now let's go back and see where the wedding ring come from again. Okay, in fact, the use of the ring uh -huh. in marriage service began in Egypt. So it began in Egypt because ain't nothing new up under the sun. This stuff, that they, it just didn't come about a thin air. They got that from somewhere because why? When you read Psalm 64, 5 and 6, the most I said, a white man is such a devil. He, he dig, he ser go search out for all kind of iniquity. Yeah. Read on. The custom was also favored by the Greek. Uh-oh, that's where they got it from. The custom was favored by the Greeks. The on. white man got it from the Egyptians. Read on. And Roman. And the Romans. Read on. But was not adopted for Christian ritual until about... Six, 860 A.D. So guess what? We wasn't doing that. We didn't, we didn't do that until we went into captivity up under them. And guess what? When you're in captivity with the people, eventually you become assimilated with them. Bring it so now you want to look like them, you want to dress like them, you talk like them, you think like them. Read on. Previous to that time, uh -huh. it was looked upon as a pagan idea. Goodness gracious. I bet you didn't know that thing. I'll praise, the mo hey, I'll praise for that. So the most I said... Previously, we weren't doing that. That was a pagan idea, meaning it's of the devil. Read on. Ancient Egyptian writings reveal that the wedding ring was worn on the third finger. Oh, no, wait a minute. Bro, 
What you got there? What, what ring is that thing? What, 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 pull that thing out again. Take it out. Take it out. Man, man, man. On the third finger. Goodness gracious. The third finger of the left hand. Because this finger. Oh, was, oh, wait a minute. What, the brother got it on the left hand. Read on. Because this finger was believed to be connected by an artery with the heart. Uh huh. The more general accepted theory, however, is that in so much as the right hand signified power and was authority and the left hand subjection and dependence, uh -huh. the ring was placed on the left hand to denote the wife's place as sub subordinate to her spouse. So now, go back to Leviticus 18 and verse 3 and then we're going to get Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 25. So now Leviticus 18 and verse 3, read that again and go to Deuteronomy 7 and 25. Leviticus 18 verse 3. Read it out. After the doings of the land of Egypt, wherein ye dwell, shall ye not do. Uh -huh. And after the doings of the land of Canaan, whether I bring you, shall ye not do. All right, so now Canaan is now called Israel today. Now, this is what you got to do with that ring. Deuteronomy 7 and 25 right here. Read it out. Deuteronomy 7 and verse 25. Read Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 30, 25. The graven images of their gods shall ye burn with fire. So the most I said, the graven images of their gods shall ye burn with fire because that wedding ring has a god behind it. Read on. And every god has some kind of graven image. Read on. Thou shalt not desire the silver or gold. The silver or what? The silver or gold uh -huh. that is on them. So the silver or gold that is on them because we wear gold wedding rings, silver wedding rings with diamonds in them. Read. Nor take it unto thee, lest thou be snared therein. Because that's a snare. How is it a snare? You go out and spend five, ten thousand dollars on wedding rings, and guess what? I, you divorce the next day from some people. Because the, the, the wedding ring, in the Bible, marriage was you, uh, when you lay with the woman and had sex with her, that, that was, that's what consummated the marriage. But now, they, since we follow the customs of the uh, so-called Caucasians, because that's what they do, and guess what? They got it from the Egyptians. So the most I said, don't learn their ways in Leviticus 18 and 3. And what did he say now? For it is an abomination uh -huh. to the Lord thy God. So you, so us wearing red rings, guess what? That's an abomination to the Lord thy God. Read on. Right. Neither shalt thou bring an abomination into thine house, uh -huh. lest thou be a cursed thing like it. So the most I said, don't bring that thing into the house. And you are the temple of the most high God. So, so give me, what's that? Cast like a mistress red. Isaiah 30 and 22. All right, Isaiah 30 and 22. Isaiah 30 and verse 22. Isaiah chapter 30, verse 22. Read out. Ye shall defile also the covering of the graven images of uh -huh. silver. Of silver, And the ornament of thy molten images uh -huh. of gold. gold. Thou shalt cast them away. Right, so the most I said, cast that thing away is what? As a ministress cloth. So okay, get rid of that thing. That's the reason why I, we don't have them. Like I said, you ain't got to, if you, you might have paid a lot of money for it, you can take that thing back or get the money back for it. But the most I said, look, that ain't something that we do. Those are the customs of the, of the other nations, of the heathens. Second Maccabees, and, and that's what we bought out earlier in Second Maccabees 4 and 15. So you understand that, bro? All right, so now, that's what, so that's, that's what we call repentance. That's what we call repentance. All right, so Lord will you bring your wife too so she can learn. All right. Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. 
Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcast, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.